Let's get right into it. Number 8. The liquid that fights back. Imagine diving into a pool, but instead of sinking, you bounce off the surface like a trampoline. This is what would happen if the pool was filled with a non-Newtonian fluid. These fluids are basically shapeshifters. The most famous example is oobleck, made from cornstarch and water. If you dip your hand in slowly, it feels like a normal liquid, but punch it, and it instantly becomes as hard as a rock. The tiny cornstarch particles don't have time to get out of the way of a fast-moving object, so they lock together. Scientists are using this to create liquid body armor. A bulletproof vest filled with this fluid stays soft and flexible, but when a bullet hits it, the fluid instantly turns into a solid shield, stopping the bullet. It's a liquid that becomes a solid just long enough to save your life. Number 7. Colors that shouldn't exist. There are colors you've never seen, not because they're rare, but because your own eyes have banned them. Colors like reddish-green or yellowish-blue, not a muddy mix, but a color that is both red and green at the exact same time. These are called impossible colors, and your brain can be tricked into creating them. Your eyes have a set of light switches for color. One switch controls red and green. You can flip it to red or green, but not both at once. The same goes for another switch that controls blue and yellow, but you can hack this system. You can force your brain to see these forbidden colors. Find a picture with a red square touching a green square. Stare at the exact line where they meet. Don't blink or move your eyes. Just stare at that dividing line for 30 seconds. Your eye cells that see red and green start getting tired. After 30 seconds, relax your eyes. For just a moment, the boundary between red and green dissolves. Your brain creates a new color in that space. People who see it say it shimmers. It's somehow pure red and pure green at the same time. A color with no name because it shouldn't exist. Scientists have also created Stygian blue. It's a blue that looks darker than pure black. You make it by staring at bright yellow first. This tires out your yellow seeing cells. Then when you look at black, your brain projects blue onto it, creating this impossibly dark blue. These experiments prove that the colors you see aren't really there. Your brain is creating your entire visual world from scratch, and sometimes you can catch it breaking its own rules. Number 6. The rocks that move themselves. Picture this. You are walking through a desert and finding a 700-pound boulder with a trail behind it, as if it dragged itself across the ground when nobody was looking. This happens at racetrack Playa in Death Valley. Hundreds of rocks, some weighing over 700 pounds, are moving by themselves. They leave tracks hundreds of feet long in the dried mud. Some tracks are straight, others zigzag. Some rocks even travel together, then suddenly split up. For decades, this drove scientists insane. Theories ranged from aliens to powerful magnetic fields. In 2011, a team of scientists brought 15 rocks fitted with GPS trackers to the playa and set up cameras. For two years, nothing happened. Then in December 2013, it rained just enough to cover the playa with a few inches of water. The temperature dropped below freezing overnight. It created a paper-thin sheet of ice over the water. The next morning, the sun came out and the ice broke into massive floating panels. A gentle breeze started blowing, just 10 miles per hour. This was enough to push the giant ice sheets across the water. The rocks were trapped in the ice. These massive ice panels acted like sails. They slowly pushed the rocks through the soft mud under them. The movement was painfully slow, just an inch or two per second. The GPS trackers and cameras caught everything. The mystery was solved by rain, ice, and a light breeze. The rocks were just hitching a ride on nature's slowest, weirdest taxi service. Number 5. A river inside the ocean. Imagine scuba diving deep in a cave in Mexico. Below you, there's a river, with banks, fallen trees, and a misty fog hovering over its surface. Basically, a haunted forest that's underwater. This river isn't made of normal water. You can dive right through the fog and swim in this underwater river. This is Cenote Angelita, and it's real. These are rivers of super-dense, salty water that flow along the bottom of the ocean. They never mix with the regular water. In Cenote Angelita, the top layer is fresh rainwater. The river at the bottom is salt water from the ocean. And that spooky fog layer is hydrogen sulfide, a toxic gas that smells like rotten eggs. It's created by decaying leaves and trees trapped between the two layers. These aren't all small cave rivers. In 2010, scientists exploring the Black Sea discovered a massive underwater river system. It has rapids, channels, and even waterfalls hundreds of feet high, all at the bottom of the sea. If this river were on land, it would be the sixth largest in the world. The scariest part is that these underwater rivers 
are basically liquid death. They contain zero oxygen and are full of toxic chemicals. Any normal fish that accidentally swims into one gets instantly stunned and dies. Number 4. Life that eats poison. Everything your biology teacher told you about sunlight was a lie. Turns out, not all life needs it. In 1977, scientists took a submarine to the bottom of the Pacific Ocean. They were expecting to find nothing. Instead, they found the underwater equal of Times Square. Massive black chimneys taller than buildings were spewing out toxic smoke. The water was 750 degrees Fahrenheit, hot enough to bake cookies, and it was loaded with hydrogen sulfide, the stuff that makes rotten eggs smell. Basically, the worst place to live in history. But the place was packed with creatures that basically crawled out of a fever dream. Six-foot-long tube worms with blood-red plumes, ghost-white crabs, fish that looked like they'd seen things. They were eating poison. Tiny bacteria were running a restaurant where the only item on the menu was volcanic death chemicals. These bacteria convert poison into calories. And those giant tube worms without mouths are basically walking apartment buildings for bacteria. The bacteria live inside them, cooking up meals from toxic chemicals. The worm provides housing. The bacteria provide food. It's the most successful roommate situation in history. Number 3. The Bleeding Glacier In the middle of Antarctica, there's a glacier that basically looks like it's bleeding. Five stories of red water pour out of pure white ice. It's called Blood Falls, and it stains everything in its path. When scientists first saw it in 1911, they thought it was red algae. They were wrong. Two million years ago, a small lake got trapped under this massive glacier. It's been sitting there in total darkness ever since. No light, no oxygen. The water is so salty it can't freeze. Over millions of years, the water has been dissolving iron from the rocks below. The lake is now basically liquid rust waiting to happen. When this ancient water finally squeezes through cracks in the ice, the iron hits oxygen for the first time in two million years. It instantly rusts. The blood is just flash rust happening right before your eyes. Scientists also found life in that sealed-off lake. Microbes that have been evolving alone for millions of years. These things learn to breathe iron instead of oxygen. They're living in conditions that shouldn't support life at all. This discovery changed everything about how we look for alien life. If microbes can survive in a pitch-black, oxygen-free lake under Antarctic ice, maybe they can survive on other planets too, like in the frozen oceans of Jupiter's moon Europa, or deep under the ice caps of Mars. Number 2. The Animal That Can't Die These microscopic animals basically look like eight-legged gummy bears. They're also called water bears, which is misleading because actual bears can't survive being boiled alive. Tardigrades can. Scientists have thrown everything at them. Boiling water. They're fine freezing them to nearly absolute zero. They'll wait, crushing them under pressure six times worse than the ocean's deepest point. A minor inconvenience. In 2007, scientists strapped some tardigrades to the outside of a satellite. No spacesuit, no protection, just the raw vacuum of space for 10 days. When they came back, scientists added water, and the tardigrades came back to life and started making babies. Their space babies were perfectly healthy. Here's how they do it. When things get rough, Tardigrades curl up into a ball called a ton and push out 95% of their water. Then they replace it with special proteins that turn their insides into biological glass. Their metabolism drops to 0.01% of normal. They're not dead. They're not alive. They're just paused. They can stay like this for possibly centuries. These unkillable show-offs are everywhere. In your backyard moss, in puddles, on beaches, even on Mount Everest. Scientists think tardigrades will outlive humanity. The only thing that might kill them is if the sun explodes. And even then, I wouldn't bet against them. Number 1. The solid made of air. Imagine holding a cloud in your hand. A solid piece of fog that weighs almost nothing but can stop a bullet. This stuff is real. And it's called aerogel. It holds the world record for the least dense solid. It's made of 99.8% air. It looks like blue smoke frozen in place. A block the size of a person would weigh less than a pound. Scientists take a gel and carefully suck all the liquid out. What's left is a tangled, microscopic web of silica. It's so light that a one-ounce block can rest on flower petals without bending them. Despite being mostly empty space, aerogel is one of the most powerful insulators ever created. You can put a blowtorch on one side of a thin sheet of it. The other side stays at room temperature. Scientists proved this by placing a chocolate bunny on a piece of aerogel and blasting the bottom with a flame. The chocolate doesn't even melt. Heat gets lost in the microscopic maze and can't find its way through. A small piece can also support over 1,000 times its own weight. 
NASA used it on their Stardust mission to catch comet dust. The particles were flying at six times the speed of a rifle bullet. Aerogel basically acted like a super soft baseball mitt, gently slowing the dust without breaking it. And its slight blue color isn't a dye. It scatters light the same way the Earth's atmosphere does, which is why it looks like you're holding a tiny piece of the sky. That's all for today. I'll be making similar videos in the future. Subscribe to see them.